In this lesson, we'll review Active Directory's forest and domain trusts. A trust is the type of communication between domains and forests. It allows users from one domain to access resources from another domain. Let's look at some concepts with trusts that will be helpful for you to understand. First, understand that trusts can be directionally two-way or one-way, and they can be either transitive or non-transitive. A two-way trust means that both domains trust each other. Authentication requests can go from either domain in the trust to the other domain. Users in either domain can access resources in the other domain. All trusts in a forest are two-way transitive trusts by default. The word transitive means to pass through or transfer. So a transitive trust means that the trust relationship between two domains is extended to the other transitively trusted domains in the forest. For example, if domain A trusts domain B and domain B trusts domain C, then domain A also trusts domain C. In a two-way transitive trust, the same transitive trust goes in reverse. Domain C also trusts domain A in this example. A one-way directional trust is an authentication path between two domains where one domain is trusted by the other domain, but the trust is not established in the opposite direction. For example, domain A trusts domain B. This allows users from domain B to access resources in domain A. However, domain B does not trust domain A, so domain A's users cannot access domain B's resources. Notice that in one-way directional trust, the arrow of the trust paths points to the domain that is trusted. The direction of access is from the trusted domain to the trusting domain's resources. If a trust is non-transitive, then the trust relationship between two domains is not extended to other domains. This can be helpful in a situation where you want to deny a trust relationship to protect resources. Now, let's look at the five types of trusts. The first is automatic trusts. Automatic trusts are the default trusts created when Active Directory is installed. These default trusts are two-way transitive trusts between any child domains in a tree. For example, corpnet.com has a two-way transitive trust with west.corpnet.com. Corpnet.com also has a two-way transitive trust with netcorp.com because they are both trees in the same forest. If all domains are in the same forest, the trusts may all be set up automatically and you won't need to spend time creating trusts. If default trusts don't meet an organization's needs, then you will need to use one or more of the other four trusts. The next type of trust is the forest trust or sometimes called interforest trust. Forest trusts are transitive and can be either two-way or one-way directional. This allows users from one forest to access resources in another forest. A one-way forest trust may be used in a situation where, for example, there is a merger or acquisition and Forest 2 users need access to the resources in Forest 1. But the resources of Forest 2 need to be protected from users in Forest 1. A one-way forest trust could provide that access and protection. If in the merger all users need access to all resources in both forests, then a two-way forest trust can be established. In a forest trust, you can also have two authentication options. The forest-wide authentication is the default authentication, and it allows users from either forest to freely access resources from either forest. If you need to limit access to resources to only a certain group of users, you can use what's called selective authentication. With selective authentication, access to resources is only granted to users from the foreign forest that have been assigned the allowed to authenticate right to that server. One more concept to understand about inner forest trusts is that when the forest trust is established, all the domain names from both forests are added to the name suffix routing list of the trust. If you want to take one of those domains out, just remove it from that list. Conversely, if you add a new domain to the forest after the trust has been created, you'll need to add that new domain name to the name suffix routing list. The third type of trust is an external trust. External trusts are non-transitive and can be one-way or two-way trusts. They provide access from one domain to an outside domain in a forest that is not joined by a forest trust. 
For example, a group of users in domain 1 needs access to resources in domain f.2, and domain f.2 is in forest 2, which is not in a forest trust relationship with forest 1. The external trust creates this direct relationship between domain 1 and domain f.2. Because the trust is non-transitive, no access is allowed to the other domains in the forests. The fourth type of trust is a realm trust. You use a realm trust to create a trusted relationship with a non-Microsoft Kerberos version 5 realm to access resources in a Microsoft domain. Realm trusts can be transitive or non-transitive. They also can be one-way or two-way directional. And finally, we have shortcut trusts. Shortcut trusts are unique from the other trusts because they are between domains in the same forest. Shortcut trusts are transitive and can be one-way or two-way. They are used to speed up access to objects. Instead of having to go through the authentication process at each domain between the user and the objects, a shortcut domain directly connects the two domains, cutting the authentication process to one. For example, here we have CBA users that often use resources in EDA. Without a shortcut, they would have to authenticate through B, A, then A, then DA, and finally through EDA. With the shortcut trust established, the CBA users authenticate directly to EDA saving time. That's it for this lesson. In this lesson, we reviewed some important information about Active Directory trusts. First, we compared transitive and non-transitive trust relationships. Then, we reviewed how trusts can be either one-way or two-way directional relationships. We finished this lesson by going through each of the types of trusts, including automatic trusts, forest trusts, external and realm trusts, and finished with shortcut trusts which are the only trusts between domains in the same forest.